the tale of Little Red Riding Hood. In a forest deep where shadows play, Little Red Riding Hood skipped her way. With her basket of treats, so bright and red, to Grandma's house, the path she tread. Stay on the path, her mother's plea, but curiosity whispered, wild and free. A wolf in disguise, cunning and sly, watched as she passed, his hunger awry. Where are you off to, my dear? he asked, his voice so smooth, his eyes a mask. To Grandma's house, with love I go, a sweet visit, my heart aglow. Off the path, through woods so dense, the wolf raced ahead, his plan immense. In Grandma's clothes, he lay in wait, impersonating her, sealing her fate. Knocking on the door, Little Red came, innocence and trust, her only aim. Grandma, dear, she said with cheer, but the wolf's sharp teeth drew near. In Grandma's bed, the wolf reclined, a wicked grin his plan designed. Come closer, dear, he slyly spoke, his voice like Grandma's, a dangerous cloak. Grandma, what big eyes you have, she said, innocent words as she cautiously tread. The better to see you, my child, he lied, his hunger and deceit, impossible to hide. Grandma, what big ears you possess, Red Riding Hood's voice carried no distress. The better to hear you, my dear, he replied, his wicked intentions cleverly denied. Grandma, what a big mouth you display. She grew wary, something amiss in the way. The better to eat you with, my sweet. The wolf grinned wider, his hunger complete. But just in time, the woodcutter's might burst through the door, ending the fright. With axe swung down, the wolf's fate sealed, rescuing Grandma and Red, their fate revealed. A lesson in trust, a caution to heed, the dangers that lurk, disguised indeed. Little Red Riding Hood, her story bold, a tale of deceit through ages told. <laughs>